The top eight in the 2023 Bunnings National Provincial Championship is locked in, but we are about to find out who's playing who and where with the winner of Bay of Plenty in Tasman to claim a home quarter final. Kia ora te whanau, no mai, haere mai. We are getting set to go at the Tauranga Domain, and that is the situation. Six versus seven as they sit at the moment, but one of these teams could end up as high as fourth, and that means a home quarter final. Deep inside Tasman's 22. This time, kept them a little chip through and collected. Good work from Milani Nanai. And the offload too to Bartle, who started it. Taken by Renton, who's then up and on the ball. Advantage no release. Didn't let it go. Advantage being played. Collected here by Norris for Bay of Plenty. First real chance for points. It's the fight advantage. Hoodie Vai. Oh, runs straight into Renton. Referee. Time Blew off. quickly, and then the double blast too. We'll have a Back. listen in, but first look, it was pretty fierce Easy. from Hugh Renton. He's had him so hard with force, as we see here. Oh, no, there's definitely no one. That probably should be off, to be honest. It's yeah. a definitely a yellow card, Point. at least. It's got away with one there. Yeah, time. First chance for points in this. Clash at the Tauranga Domain, keeps it low, stabs it through between the posts. Harwara and Bay of Plenty on the board. <laughs> Selby Rickett wins the line out for Bay of Plenty. Off the left wing comes Rion Paul. We've seen a lot of action out on that left wing. Paul. Hi, on. Hey, you need to use your arms. Go again to Bay of Plenty. No. Segna makes a tackle this Take time on Pelosi. Selby Rickett knew he had to collect it, otherwise the ball was going to be lost. Judd. Broughton. There's Nunai in midfield. Not taken in the tackle, though, by Hicks again, who has been everywhere. Max Hicks started this game. Great footwork from the big prop for Bayer Plenty. Kumaroa. Hawara. Juggled by Carter. And slips through. He's got a coin on the outside. Not time. Some great play in the build-up as we see here. That back ball went deep. Leo Ricarda had a lot to do. And it was Hotham that maybe come in too far, was it? No, it wasn't Hotham. Here he is now, almost tried to stop it. I think that was Max Springer there. Picked the wrong man. See, just Alex Nankable just gets checked there, just pauses, and Leo Ricarda, we know what he can do with ball in hand. This man, look at his gritting his teeth. Oh, a great shot down that sideline there. No better sight than Koi streaming down. Hard to stop, isn't he? Time up on the clock in terms of this first half and Bay of Plenty seeking something at the end. And they're going to lead at half time, it's just by how many? Creeping forward with Colossi. Now the arms out again. Judd coming around as Shelfoon. Referee penalised and a double blast, so we'll have a listen. Nico. Number six red. Six red. Six red. Max Hicks sees yellow right on the stroke of half time. Collapsing them all. <laughs> Selby Rickett. What? Driving it forward and peeling off and spinning. Spinning still is. Colossi, and now they've got him up, they've got to let him go though. Got a knee on the ground, comes back again. It's slow ball for Hands the Steamers. Brought it, head down, tries to muscle his way over. Can't do so though. Selby Ricketts gets the pass to Akoi. Arms out again. Judd, Selby Ricketts tries to spin and scores. Seventh time in the season, and Bay of Plenty extend. Yeah, this guy does everything, and he had a lot of work to do here. Good build up from the forwards, just keeping it tight. Remember, Tasman are one man down, and I thought he had fluffed his lines there, but he managed to swing around and get it down. I'd love to know how many tries he's actually scored off doing this move. The, the rules have been changed a couple of years ago, and he's got to put his foot behind the ball, and he's scored a couple. I know that he scored one against Wellington a couple of weeks ago. And 
Hawara to cap a very good first half from the home team. Keeps it low, stabs it between the posts. And on the stroke of half time, Bay of Plenty score their second try. And in the race to host a home quarter final next weekend, it's Bay of Plenty that lead Tasman 17 points to nil. Renton up over the 10 metre line. Akoi plops over the top of it. Hands taken quickly by Tasman. Here is Hotham. A lot of sevens, so he's a good runner and he's got support play from the impressive Signa. Renton from distance. Collected by Hotham. Here's Nankerville. Harbara does good work, so yeah, does Rion Paul, carried again forward by Tasman. Thank First you. real opportunity in the game to build any phases near the Bay of Plenty line. Hotham is manhandled, here's Timothy Tavatavanawai. Renton with support from Segna. Hotham, quick ball this time, charging forward Martinger. Sucking to the left-hand side of Tasman as Robinson steps off the left, taken in the tackle of Selby Rickett. Tava Tava Nawai. Taken by Seamus Bartle. Really fighting to get forward. Akoi's over the ball. Can't clear it, so it comes again for Tasman. Signa. Long passage of play involving the Mako here. Wrapping around Springer. Drawing to Nankovo. Just like that, the Muckle start the second half, phase after phase, and Alex Nankerville gets the try. Yeah, Hawani McDonald talked about it pre-game that they got a bit of a rock up, and Tasman boys have been holding possession of that ball. They've been getting that territory, and we see the fins up. 12-point advantage in favour of Bay of Plenty. Monarchy Selby Rickett wins the line-out for the Steamers. Eklund scored so many tries from the back of balls like this. Can they get it to creep forward? Tasman, good job at the moment, but it is starting to move forward. Carter says, I've seen enough of going in to help. Let's be careful here, Tasman. Arm out. Eklund peels off, holds it up. out here it goes down they've got an advantage they break off Eklund and a no-look pass in there from Tauriu Rangi into Josh Bartlett who gets the treats solid scrum from Bay of Plenty Bardol gets through charges through now he's got a runner in the outside too Nanai draws and passes Bartul running strong and hard between Robinson and Noah Hotham. But look at this one chance, one shot, one try. No, no, no one near him. And against the run of play, that's two and only the fraction of a few minutes for Bay of Plenty. Yeah, I think the Tasman backs coach just, uh, will just be a little bit annoyed with that. But the double pump, the triple pump by Bardul there, just to make sure that he fixes Tane Robinson, that fullback, to draw. That man in and McDonald line out one by Hicks. This is a good drive. This is a really good drive from the Muckle McDonald, the experienced hooker. Up to the line and they're over the line. Tasman score. They had to be the next team to score, and they are. Try scored by Quinton McDonald. It's a 15 point ball game at the Tauranga Domain. And we've got just a touch over 15 minutes remaining. Line out. Tapped on the Bay of Plenty side. It's all a bit messy. Paul's collected it. He's almost got through as Rion Paul's come off his left wing. Te Tōroa Tahuriorangi. Here's Eklund. Can almost put the game to bed here. Bay of Plenty if they can score again. Tahuriorangi. Lovely offload to Te Tōroa Rangi. Try wonderfully executed 
by it, Bayam Plenty. But what a ball inside to Tauriorangi. He's backing up again like every good nine does. Puts it beyond doubt, I think. No, 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 you're second man. You're second man. Chapman looks to the right and comes back to the left hand side. McDonald pass on the inside to Coxon. The ball again. No more. Just hasn't been allowed to run in the way that Levi Albor can do so. Penalty. Number nine still there. Taken the quickly by Louis Chapman. Coxon runs into strong tackle of Eklund. No, told to leave it alone. <laughs> Floating pass over the top. Captain's back on his feet. Cutting back on the inside. Havatava Nawai plays at halfback. Robinson can't find everybody. Then it's collected. And away come the Bay of Plenty. Steamers, and they are going to finish with a flourish. Armstrong's going to run the length go underneath the posts to put an exclamation mark on a very good performance from Bay of Plenty. Against the run of play, they score the try. Tamero Armstrong gets it. Yeah, and he's looked very strong when he's come off the bench. Tamero Armstrong. And if you see here, they gave up the ghost. They throw it out. They try to throw it out the back. Oh, good defensive line, hustling for everything. Judd's on the outside, he's come back on, but he doesn't need it. They've given up the ghost, he's going deep. There's a little bit of... Conversion successful from Hawara. Final whistle is blown at the Tauranga Domain. Bay of Plenty lock in a home quarter final with a comprehensive win over Tasman. It's the Steamers 41, the Mako 12.